the truck and get back to the quick. Show the block. Show the sound. Dead Boy is a ghost commercial free. Over 97 minutes of music. Right here, Hot 97. We've been waiting for this, right? Summer's officially here. And can I give you one bit of advice to make sure your summer's going to be the best? You got to get on T-Mobile. Because, look, imagine you're headed on a train, headed to that new town. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Trey back again, hit you with a video. This video comes straight out of NYC, New York City. Used to be known as the Big Apple, some call it the Rotten Apple, but New York has cleaned this image up. And big shout out to all my people in NYC and New York and all the five barrels and whatever the hell else comes with it. But one thing that New York is known for, and other than the sorry ass New York Knicks, and no offense, no offense. And, uh, other than the New York Yankees or the Mets or the Giants is the fact that it is known for its street vendors, the food trucks, the food carts and everything. Because even when I was young, I always used to see it on TV. You know, we all watch TV. We all watch these shows where it was Seinfeld, especially Seinfeld. That's all they stayed going into was these little uh, bodegas, these little uh, establishments and getting food off of these cars. So I, I was like, man, that, that must be some good ass food because they make it look so good when they eat and they smiling, uh, birds chirping, the sun out, everybody walking by happy. I'm like, well, damn, they must have some good food up there. But after you get through seeing this video, you're going to think twice about eating from one of these food trucks in the NYC because this guy clearly thought that no one was, wasn't watching him. And you also have to remember that no matter what you do, remember this, somebody is always watching you and paying attention to your every move. So be careful and also be respectful and be nat. Don't be nasty. I, I ain't mean to say be nasty. Don't be nasty because some of y'all are already nasty. You know, no, don't get mad at me. Don't ask me how I know. Don't ask me somebody snitching on you. I don't know all that. But at the same time, even when I was going to go visit New York and I still am, I was going to go to a lot of them uh, food carts and trucks. Now I'm thinking twice about it. Now I'm just going to have to go to a regular establishment because I'll be damned if I get E. coli or you giving me some damn toe jam and earl kind of, kind of fungus disease because this guy was in his food truck basically picking his damn toes, picking his feet. And then the nastiest thing about it is like he sat there and ate some of that toe jam. Now how in the hell is you going to serve people proper food that's, center, that's uh, you know, in being a sanitary condition where it ain't all nasty you don't have no running water no bathroom and that so how do you clean the dishes you have jugs of water maybe somebody can enlighten me on that let me know or uh, am i missing something because i don't see how in the hell you can keep the area clean if you don't have running water then don't you have to use the bathroom what you go in a bucket in there or you got a little side stall or something i don't know because they don't look that big to have all that in it but you never know but at the same time who in their right mind well, sit up there with the door wide open. Number one, you shouldn't be doing it, but have the door wide open and picking in your toes. And it's good that these people recorded this guy. And any one of y'all, any of you all in New York City see this person, you need to confront them about this. Like, look, we don't want none of them toe, toe jam, uh, gyros, gyros, whatever you want to call them, or toe jam shrimp, you know, because you need to pretty much expose them and tell them because that's not sanitary because you don't know if this guy got some kind of disease or sickness or whatever and just the fact that even if he don't just for somebody to pick their feet all between their toes and place it on your food that is very nasty right there so that within itself is warrant enough for him to be called out on it now if he was around my neck of the woods you know and we seen him we, we wouldn't have no problem calling him out we'll just go to him look show him the video you need to stop that man or you gotta you gotta take that on somewhere because that might be my people eating from there or just anybody, one of you all people. Now, how would you feel if you sent your people out there or if you went out there and you got you a hot dog, all of a sudden you look down on it and you're like, damn, I ain't ordered no sauerkraut, but that's not sauerkraut. That's uh, basically the bottom of your foot. You know, when it get all ashy and stuff and some of y'all got it right now and you got to get that little pit, that little thing with that little ball that uh, pretty much grind that husk off your feet and stuff. That's what it is. That's not sauerkraut. That's just some shit that he don't sprinkle over there to probably cut corners and save money because it don't look like he's getting too much business. And at the same time, how in the hell they be having these food places, these street vendors, with the food not even covered up? That's very nasty. Don't you know flies laying around? And soon as that fly land on something, it's going to piss or shit right in it. 
So I don't understand that neither. And it's no wonder why people are getting all these damn sicknesses and diseases and stuff all in their intestines. Because that's where it's going to affect you at right there. But at the same time, let this be a warning to us all. It's just because something look good don't mean it's good. We have to start being careful and we need to call these people out for being nasty because there's no excuse for that you don't sit here and take your damn shoe off that right there within itself is unsanitary go outside because you have to understand when you take your shoes off just like if you take a sock off if you look don't you see the little particles in the air the little dust i know i'm not the only one that see that i know i'm not seeing little uh fairies and little uh uh tooth fairies and stuff like that so i know that there's got to be dust or some kind of skin you know because we share skin all damn day long that's the something that's most of the stuff that you see up in your damn house but anyway not to sound all scientific and everything but this guy right here is definitely nasty and i know when i go visit new york i'm gonna have to think twice because i did and i still do i still want to go to some of these food courts because that's like you know i just like things like that even when i'm traveling i go to different places to eat but i don't eat it everywhere no more but he definitely got me thinking about changing my mind about a lot of those places. So anyway, let me know what you all think in the comment section about this right here. Because this is a damn shame. And if anybody in New York City recognizes this goddamn cart, you need to go to him and show him the video and tell him to please stop. But we real report his nasty butt to the health board. And we they, he would get ran out just like, uh, what's that, uh, holy moly donuts off of Friday after next. Something got to give because either your stomach going to give or he going to have to give, you know. Anyway, let me know what you all think in the comment section. This has been your boy Trey. You like, subscribe. Till next time, stay blessed and watch what the hell you eat. I'm out.